Welcome back, everybody. My next guest is a great, big, giant American movie star, a huge star of stage and screen, and also a pilot. <laughs> His latest film, 42, is in theatres now. Take a look at this. Harrison Ford, everybody! You look nice. I am nice. You're not that nice. Yeah, yeah. No, you must be quite no, I'm nice. crazy. Remember? I never... I didn't mean you were... Are you a helicopter pilot? Yeah. Then you are... I can Crazy. Every time... Every helicopter pilot I've met is crazy. Right. right. Am, I, am I lying? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, no. There's a little bit Maybe. of that in everybody I've met Maybe. who flies helicopters. No, is a no, little no, bit no. crazy. I think, you know, uh, it's it would be uh, it would be really stupid to be crazy and a helicopter pilot. You don't need to do both. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I see where you're going with this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. No, we're good. Yeah. yeah we're good. Yeah. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Movie looks good. Movie is good. All right, so. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if no, I, I didn't say. Okay. Would I be here? No, come on. No. Well, would, would you? Would you go and publicize a movie if you thought at the end of it, you know what, I'm not crazy about this. I'm just going to no. stay home. No. I mean, it's a good movie, though. Uh, it is a good movie. Well, there you are, then. It's yeah. fine. Now, tell me about the Pratt & Whitney PT-6A uh, turbo engine. Isn't that a fantastic airplane engine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I told you we could talk about airplanes. It's fine. No, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a great engine. It's a great engine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a very reliable engine. It's a very thinking, reliable if engine. If you're thinking of going out and buying one, uh, right. do it. Do now it. Listen. It's a really safe bet. It is. It's a good yeah. engine. No, let me ask you. Did, what, did you grow up uh, in getting into aviation? Were you a kid in, involved in it, or did it no, come later on? No, I, well, I, went, I had a, one lesson when I was in college. Uh, two, three or four lessons when I was in college. And I, uh, I was really interested in it, but I couldn't afford it. It was like... Very expensive. <clears throat> well, it was about 11 bucks an hour for the plane and the pilot. I was in college a long time Yeah, ago. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. Really? That's... Yeah. That's... Yeah. I mean, it's more than that now, I think. It is. If someone's going to charge me 11 bucks an hour for an airplane, I'm not getting in it. No. Yeah. But what do you fly? A little Cessna. Yeah? A little Cessna. Yeah, I learned in a, in a 182. Well, actually, I learned in a 172. Yeah. You know, a little, yeah. like, four-seat yep. yep. and... Uh, I, that's what I learned in. Really? Yeah. They're great airplanes, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, I nearly broke one a couple of times, though. <laughs> It you ever happens. broken an airplane? You ever kind of? Uh, I've, uh, um, I've, uh, uh, <laughs> I, I broke a helicopter. <laughs> they almost break themselves, really, helicopters. <laughs> Completely. I was doing a practice. This is probably more detailed than you really want to go into. Uh, I don't care about that. <laughs> Clearly not. No. But it, I, I, I was doing practice auto rotations, and, the, and you you know roll the power off, and you drop the collective, and you don't know that, but he does. And then when you get to the bottom, you roll the power in, and you lift the collective, and the power didn't come back in. So we did a real auto rotation to an unsuitable surface, and a hard landing, and the, the helicopter was damaged. But that um, that uh, the only significant. Uh, did that spook you? No. When you did that. Have you ever been spooked in flight? Because I, I have. Um, not, uh, not so much. I've been See, spooked in simulators. Really? That's interesting. No, I mean you're perfectly safe in a simulator. Yeah. 
Why did I think of that? <laughs> No, no I, calm down, man. It's fine. You're in yeah, a simulator. Yeah. In fact, right now, this is in fact a simulator. Oh. No. That explains it. Do you ever get confused? Do you ever fly so much and you were tired and you think, am I in a simulator or are we actually doing this? No. 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 Maybe a little bit? No. All right, then. No. no. But I, I learned in a 172, and, uh, and I just, uh, my latest airplane is a 182. I went out and bought another one. Really? Yeah. Is it a 182 Turbo? Yes, it is. Yeah, because you need that for the density altitude on the West Coast, right? In Wyoming, where I live. Wyoming? You get density altitude in Wyoming, though, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. It's You're, high. It's high up, yeah. yeah. And then you get hot weather and a bit of rain in there, the plane will never take off. Yeah. I know my... Lingonberry! Yeah. He does. You know, I... I don't... <laughs> it's like, this is the only place in the world you get a round of applause for knowing what density yeah, yeah, altitude yeah, yeah. is. <laughs> so, uh, listen, do you, do you have a lot of airplanes? Is that a personal question? Yeah. All right. So uh, I, I have, I have, uh, I have a, 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 f a few. They're all different. And they're all di do different things. But I have a few. Yeah. Do you have any old timey airplanes? Yeah. Like a rotary yeah, engine yeah. airplane. Oh yeah, I've got a well one, two, uh, two rotary engine. I have a De Havilland Beaver. And uh, <laughs> we should just let them do it. They're going to do it. We just let them do it. It's a de Havilland beaver, though. Yeah. And I have a, uh, a, a 1939 Waco taper wing. Ooh. With a, a you know, Jacobs uh, engine. Is that a uh, biplane? Yeah. Yeah, that's a swanky looking thing. Yeah. Or... Open cockpit? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, do you ever wear hats? <laughs> In that thing? Easter yeah, yeah. for the parade, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's the where's the uh, where's the most interesting place you've landed an airplane? Um, well, I do uh, quite a bit of bush flying, so I like to go back. Hang on, you want, might want to do that as well. <laughs> if you laugh at Beaver, yeah. you might want to have a go at bush flying. <laughs> yeah. What's that coming, Michael? All right. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, man. No, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, so I like that. <laughs> Landing off in the... We see yeah. Ariel, who's coming on next. She did, yeah. uh, her, uh, her family runs uh, but I Era, Alaska. But she doesn't actually fly. No, I've seen her fly. Oh, I thought she, I thought, uh, she, she didn't... No, she got her license. She, oh, has, a, she has a little 152. Great. Yes. Yeah. More pi hey, what do you think about this uh, closing down the small, uh, these small um, control towers? There's a controversial oh, subject. Ah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, um, uh, you know, that it's, under, it's, it's understood that, that uh, we all have to make cuts in the budget and sure. sequestration is uh, upon us, uh, but the FAA has, a, a, I think, enough discretionary budget to be able to pick and choose very wisely the, the c towers that they that they're closing, uh, uh, but uh, I don't think they've had the time to really do the safety assessment that they need figure to do out the right to figure ones out to close. the right ones yeah. to close. Yeah, right. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, before before we go, uh, the movie's good though, right? <laughs> yeah. I thought I thought I cleared that up. Yeah, yeah no, I, I'm is, just you know. No, I, it's I, very good. Yeah, it's no, it's great. <laughs> go and see it. Yeah, no, they will. They will. You're like, in it, man. They'll go see it. Probably now <laughs> would be a good time to leave. If you could stay at the end of the show, I would. Uh, like that's that's pretty selfish, man. To just say they can go now, because they'll go. Yeah, you're right. I know. All right. All right. Fancy an awkward pause before you leave? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes, then. Yeah. Harrison Ford, everybody. <laughs> Please welcome Keanu Reeves, everybody. Keanu Reeves.
Easy out. Yeah, you, you look sensational, man. Well, thank and you, I, Craig. And that's not just the cold medication talking. I'm telling you. <laughs> you look great. You've got the beard going on. It's very dynamic. Oh, uh, thank you very much. No, it's good. Yeah. Do you, are you like Robin Williams? If you grow a beard, you want an Oscar? <laughs> No. All right, all right. So listen, tell me about the the side by side movie. You're interviewing James. Is he really as much of a douche as everyone says no. he is? No. 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 Is that what they say? No. No, he's, they don't. He's lovely. I just... The man's a genius. Yeah. So. yeah. Oh, sure. He's a great. Personal friend of mine. We play golf all the time. What the yeah. hell, man? <laughs> he's lovely. Um, yeah, side by side documentary about the uh, art, science, and impact of digital cinema. Oh yeah. And uh, are you for it or against it? I'm for it and against it. I'm against it because it might be the end of film. Yeah, I think that's bound to happen at a certain point. I mean, papyrus came to an end, you know, uh, it'll happen. No, I'm serious. Technology changes, you know, it does. It does change, and so the documentary kind of looks into what are we gaining and what are we losing. Do you come to any conclusions? Do you think that, uh, do you think... Well, I think if film goes away, we're losing a lot. <laughs> The way it looks, the way it feels. But surely, it isn't, it, isn't it possible to recreate that with digital technology now, to, to make that look? Yeah, I mean, you could put artificial grain into it. I guess you could give it a look. Yeah. But you're still dealing with ones and zeros. You're, lo you're losing the materiality of things. Yeah. You're talking like it's the Matrix, man. <laughs> There's so many things in life we're losing a kind of materiality, a, a, a haptic quality, a contact. Are you are you uh, are you uh, a, a bit of a luddite in that regard? Do you no. you, you don't like new technology? No, I... I love new technology. I mean, I love the. I mean, obviously, what we can do with digital. I mean, in the documentary, we kind of take you through some of the. We go from like traditional film methods and right. photochemical and then the impact of how it's changed like how visual effects have changed right i mean the documentary covers you know it, it what, what did you shoot it on the documentary digital oh did you ah. <laughs> Which is okay. Yeah, sure. I'm not against yeah. digital. Yeah, I'm not, absolutely. I'm not, you know, it's I mean, fine. It's just, you know, I mean, we show examples. You know, we'll give a point about visual, visual effects, and then we'll show a film and clips. So you kind of get a real But if you show a film on... A film clip. I'm uh, calling it a film, a movie, yeah. content. All right, then, man. <laughs> you still riding? You still riding bikes? Segway. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I don't do segways. Also, I do motorcycles. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Or have you gone digital? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You want the real thing. Yeah, no, I do. You, know? you ride an American bike or you ride a Japanese bike? British. British bike? Yeah. Royal well, Enfield? Also, no, a Norton Commando. Norton Commando? Yeah, ah, but but also, I've also had some American iron, but do you still ride? Yeah, well, a little bit. I know it since my, my last accident kind of like knocked the wind out of my sails a little bit. What happened to you? Yeah, I was on one of them V rods and I tried to go around a corner. <laughs> Were you at a high rate of speed? What's the point of being on a uh -oh. bike? Yeah. Dude. I, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. No, I was uh, I actually I was riding an American bike in Britain. And you know they got their windy little yeah, uh, roads, sure. and I had that big, that's a 600, 700 pound bike. And I yeah. was like, I, like oh, I'll, you know, I'll lean and it'll be, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I brought collarbone and three ribs. Nice. Yeah. So I was like, but every time I Did you I ride get, home, or did you, did you get the bike back up? And you, <laughs> you kidding me, man? I started crying. <laughs> No, I, I, yeah, no, I go back on the bike and I, it wasn't even working. I just, I, for the power of my mind, basically. <laughs> no, I was, really, I was messed up. And every time I go on a bike now, I'm kind of like, I, I, I kind of see right. it. it. It freaks me out. Yeah, Aren't you've it? had some bad spills, haven't you? Um, a couple. I mean, I've I broke a tooth and broke an ankle and, yeah. Well, this is pretty good, actually. That one. Holy crackers, is that a metal plate or something? No, no, no. I, I took a fender off a car. Using your leg? Yeah. American car or Japanese car? <laughs> American. That's all right, then. That's some leg you got there. Yeah. Uh. So you ride a brace, you ride one of that Norton Commander. That's a 70s type bike, yeah, though, isn't it? Yeah. It's an old school bike. I yeah. remember that's the kind of bike I wanted when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. I could probably afford one now, but I'd be oh dead God. within a fortnight. Yeah. <laughs> that's British for two weeks. <laughs> 
Yeah. How many stone are you? Uh, I'm 200 pounds. What's that in stone? I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know. No. How many stone are you? I don't know. Well, where are you in pounds? I don't know. You don't weigh yourself? I don't, I don't You're know so why. wise. <laughs> Keeps me out of this. Really, you know? Yeah, we're out of time. You want some fruit? Uh, no. <laughs> don't want any fruit? Uh, what do you mean you don't like fruit? It's dinner, what? I don't know. Fruit before dinner, I don't know. You don't have to eat fruit before dinner? No. Really. I think we're learning a little bit about the secret. <laughs> yeah. So you're not sure about digital or film, and you don't eat fruit before dinner. Oh, oh. no longer the enigmatic Mr. <laughs> Reef. <laughs> You are, you're a very private guy. I mean, hardly, I mean, people don't know anything about you, man. Not, not a thing. I thought you rode an American bike and you had proper legs. <laughs> are you very careful about that? Um, yeah. Seems wise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I never tell MD anything. Really? Yeah, I tell everybody everything. I'm an open book. I'm needy. <laughs> You sure you don't want some fruit? Okay. I mean, you don't have to. Yeah, I could. I got no, no, it was rude of me to turn that down, actually. So, yeah. Well, oh, a pomegranate. Well, I'll take a pomegranate. A pomegranate? Well, look, wait, before you look at it, there's a lot of other things there to go. That, look at that. You probably like that. You ride a British bike. <laughs> is it, well, there's, yeah, pomegranate. They've got a, one of them. There's one of them. That's sweet that, oh, look at that. This is a little bit like your name, Kiwano. <laughs> What's a kiwano? It's a very enigmatic fruit, man. <laughs> People don't really know much about it. I mean, it's very popular and the girls enjoy it, but nobody knows. <laughs> I'm a bit of a wise ass sometimes, aren't I? That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You want to throw it a commercial break? Yeah, sure. Let's go to a commercial break. We'll be right back, everyone. time. I, yes, I wanted you here a lo for a long time. One of the things I've been wanting to ask you is, yes. if you're going to tear the card up at the beginning of the segment, yes. why even have the card? Ah, you <laughs> asked the question and I don't really know the answer to it. I think what I have is a kind of an OCD thing. Oh, okay. I like, to, I like to have something to do with my hands, otherwise I might get grabby with the guests. When, <laughs> when someone gives you a birthday card, do you tear that up too yes. and throw it at them? Yes, in their face. Because I'm cold. <laughs> That there are people back there working very hard on those cards, and you're tearing them and just throwing them into the air. You know, they're not, because what happened is they noticed I tear them up, so they pretend to work on I the see. cards. They don't work on them anymore. I got you. All right. Hey, now you I know, you, you look great, by the way. You look kind of reservoir dogsy. Thank I like you. It. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I should loosen my tie. Yeah, loosen your tie. Come, I mean, come on. on. I'm going to relax. Nah, you're not yeah. in the big time now, buddy. This is the minor <laughs> leagues. You're fine. <laughs> I've actually come to say goodbye to you. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. That's nice. What are you on them for? <laughs> Maybe it was one of those all oh, that sweet Oz, you know? It could have been. Not one from those... them, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Why are you leaving the show? Because I can't take it anymore, man. I can't what? live by the rules. <laughs> What rules could there possibly be? You've got a robot and a horse, and you've got tchotchkes all over the place. Yeah, yeah but I see, I don't see, I, I, see, you do it differently. You have your family there, you show, and you, you go do. to the show every day, and, and the family are there. My family don't work here, so I have to go and commute. It's too much. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, Plus, I, 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 I can't do it anymore. I, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> 
What is it about it that bothers you? It's so not, much? It doesn't bother me. I, yeah. I still enjoy it, but yeah. I, I kind of feel like I've done whatever I was gonna do with it, and now I'm done. And I, if I keep doing it, I, I can't. Uh, do a little something here in America. It's called uh, beating a dead horse. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I don't. That's what. Yeah. We don't quit jobs here. No, no. We no. get fired from jobs. I'm not, we don't leave them voluntarily. No, no, no. This makes no sense to me at all. No, I'm not quitting the job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk the earth and solve crimes. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you ever, did you ever watch Kung Fu when you were a kid? Yeah, well, sure. Well, I'm gonna do that. No, I don't think you are gonna do that. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm gonna walk from town to town and people will go, get out of here, and I'll be like, no, I'm actually from Scotland and I can solve your crimes. <laughs> It's a remarkable run. You've been on, what, 11 years? 10. 10. Oh, You've okay. been on a. Uh, I've been on 12 years. 12. Almost yeah. 12 years, yeah. I think, yeah, you came on right after um, I did. You're right. And, um, and you I. You were very nice, I remember, because you sent me a card when I started here, and it said, I remember it because it stuck in my head, it said, Congratulations, uh, I hope you know what Crikey. you're getting into. <laughs> <laughs> At that time, yeah, things were very black for me. <laughs> yeah, well, I used to be on. I, I asked you to be a guest, and I, I, I wanted you to be a guest on the show. And we used to be on against each other. And then you moved, you moved up into right. the big time, and I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> Is, that's not why you left, though. I mean, that's it. No. If you'd moved up, would you have stayed? No, man. No, that'd be even worse. Then there would be more guys like him telling me. Ooh, la, la. <laughs> no. Well, he's a racist. I mean, well, he is a racist. <laughs> you can't. Right. Not everyone's like that. Right. No, well, it seems like there's enough of them. You know, <laughs> it's when they say things like, hey, could you do this? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. See, the thing is, I think. You're very good at this, and this is... Oh, you're very good at this. No, let's not make any... Uh, I'm good at now. this. You're I don't know if I'm this. good at... I don't know, I don't know if I'm good at, at the late night. You're not going to be good at fighting crimes. Yes, I am. Good. Yes, I am. No. Yes, I am. You are not going to be good at that. Yes, you're, I... You're too loud to fight crime. <laughs> the criminals will know you're coming from miles away. Well, you have a point. I think you should reconsider this. I think you should march right into CBS no, and no, go, no, you no, know no, what? No, no, no. I'm going to stick around a little while longer. It, 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 <laughs> first of all, no. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. no. I was just finally try, figuring out what you're saying. I mean, the accent. No, I, di I didn't get a word of that. Try it again. <laughs> The accent was very difficult for me to follow. Right. It yes. took me a full nine years to follow you. <laughs> and what now you have you're to leaving. Do is, everything is just basically, oh, Shrek, farty donkey. <laughs> there. I, everything else is a variation of that. That's all I'm saying. How much for the robot? Are you selling it? I think the, the robot, hell, man. You know, I think the robot is kind of auditioning for you because he was like, hey, anything coming up? I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? And then I thought, he's trying to be like a real late night sidekick. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Coming up, we got the Hat Brothers, Steve and Bob. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Sure. Good to see you, man. Good to see I'll you. I'll give you 800 bucks for him. No, uh, man. No. <laughs> no. Are you, what, uh, a grand uh, for, for the robot and the horse. Uh, all right. Well, listen, I'm, I'll take everything. I, I'm, no, I'll no, no. I couldn't do it. We, we, they're not for sale. We are, we're going to walk the earth together. <laughs> Please, please take me with you. No. Please take me with you. No, let me, please. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do, how do you keep doing it? Because I, I can't. Um, I don't, well, how do I keep doing it? I don't know. It's fun. It's a fun job, right? It's yeah, but you can't have fun all the time. That doesn't sound Scottish at all. Here's, <laughs> here's what I have learned. Right. Whatever I have to do, I don't want to do it. It doesn't matter what it is. I learned this, actually, when I was hosting The Man Show many years ago. I, I like that show. Driving. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good show. And I was driving... Girls on trampolines, That's one right. of the classics. Uh... I was driving to the Playboy Mansion, <laughs> and I was like, oh, God we got to get this over with. And there were going to be naked girls there, and that's when I realized I was jaded beyond repair. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> and yeah. so I always figured, like, whatever it is, I'm not going to want to do it, so I might as well do the thing that I don't want to do in the first place that I'm already doing. <laughs> All right, hold on a This second. is what I'm trying... Are you... Are you in therapy? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm concerned that 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 isn't the way to approach it at all. Think, think. It's like we. It's a short time on this planet, man. It's a date, and then a hyphen, and then another date, and we have the hyphen. And I'm like, I'm not spending the whole time talking. Crikey. Celebrities, man. I'm not doing. <laughs>
That's the thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, I understand that, you know, everybody feels... It's not that I'm ungrateful for the job. I've, I have loved this job very much. You just have had enough. All right. Well, right. it sounds like you've thought it out. I thought maybe it was one of those things that you impulsively made this decision, and then you, you went and you said, this is what I'm going to do, and now you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this, but now it's too late. And oh. really, by the way, no. that, the facial hair is unacceptable. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Really unacceptable. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not. It's just that we're, next week I'll reveal you what's under here. You should do it this here. week. Yeah. It's too. It's it's really. It's disturbing now. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. I'm inclined to like... put saliva on my thumb and clean you. Go on. <laughs> we'll be right back with Jimmy Kimmel. We'll be right back. I'm here with Jimmy Kimmel, who's a late night talk show host, eh? You have the best mug in all of late night television. Yeah, There's that's no question good. about that. Mary McCormack gave me this because apparently I have some kind of Freudian thing about my penis. <laughs> well, I think we all do, right? Oh, do we, Jimmy Kimmel? All right. Let's, uh, do you think about your penis a lot? Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I don't think about mine I have at to all. I'll say this but... I'm very grateful for my penis. I really am because. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love my iPhone. <laughs> I mean, when you're talking about your prized possession, that's it right there. Gosh, I, I wish I had one of them new fancy ones, because I've still got the slow one. <laughs> you're more than welcome to borrow mine. You know I'm European, right? So, so I will. Yeah. Anyway, James, we're out of time. Oh, we're out of time. Mm -hmm. Well, that went too fast. Oh, hold on a second. You knock it off with the all, will you? <laughs> hell. <laughs> Jeez. Do you get good audiences? Because I don't know where the hell I get these. You, you have a very, very good yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you seem very good. Yeah. 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 Jim, I got to tell you. We are out of time, but I, I want you to know how grateful I am for your support and, and for you being here and for being so nice over the years. You are a true gentleman, sir, and I wish you continued success. And I would late, like to life. say, I think you, and thank you, by the way, that's very nice of you to say, I think you do a great job here, and I think you will be missed. Well, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you, but not in towns where crimes are being solved. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel, everybody, Jimmy Kimmel. Working out a little bit. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, just a little bit. Kind of cool. Yeah, you look kind of cool. I hey, you were thing. a bouncer in New York, right? I was a bouncer back in the day. Back in the day. So was I. I love it. Yeah. Where? I was at Save the Robots downtown. You were remember? you really at Save yeah, the Yeah, Save Robots. I was on the door there. Did you really yeah. work at Save the Robots? Did you work there? Because I was pretty high. No, Maybe I, you didn't, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I. I mean, you got, do you know what Save? The, you don't know what Save the Save Robots. The, is. No, they it's, don't know. They don't know anything. But it's. <laughs> It's an after hours, so the fact that he really could even mention Save the Robots <laughs> gives him a New York credibility that I want to confirm right here. This guy is a New York. That's guy. right! This guy is I can't believe you worked at Save the Robots. Yeah, I did. Actually, I was there first night. The first night it opened, I was there. Actually, there's something, now that you're saying it, yeah, I was the guy. That's I was that guy. Yeah, familiar. I was. I never worked at the after hours. Where, so where did I you work? 
I worked at the tunnel. Yeah. At Mars. I went to the tunnel. At 1018. I, yeah. You were at the after hours. You were at Save the Robot. Right, yeah. Cool, I was, so you went to site. Save the Robot. Sure. I went a couple of times to yeah? Save the Robot. It was two after hours for me. Yeah, it was a little two after hours for me, as it turned out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> late, later on in rehab, I figured out what was going on. Like, but when you were, like, we, it, it was a tough job, though. People yes, were mean. It was a very. Did you get into fights when you were doing it? Oh, my God. You fought every night. Really? Well, I see that's that's too rough for me. I mean, At the tongue, what was it? You had a nice kind of say that it was very popular. It was hipster, it was really and cool. yeah, and everyone was Lower kind of like side. Yeah. trying to be. <laughs> 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 yeah. I was at the tunnel, which meant that there was about you know eleven of us, and there were three thousand people every night, and. You literally were eating your dinner knowing that you were going to be in a fight by the end of the night. I think that's uh, character building, though, isn't it? I think it is. Well, I mean, look, when you start producing and putting these movies together in Hollywood, and they're like, oh, when we're very angry at you, you're like, yeah, all right, I'm really scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do, you know, subtract my payments? It's not going to be the same. It's not the same. You're producing those now, though. Do you produce the Riddicks yeah. or the just the Fast and the Furious? Well, we really produce the Riddick. More, I produce both of them. Uh, I produce Fast and Furious. The last three films. Right. That's the ones that really made the. Those were the yeah, ones. Yeah, that's run. right. Yeah. Come on now. Come, come on. on. Yeah. Uh, a little love. A yeah. Little love. And, and then Riddick, I produced at a whole nother level. So um, initially, the studio didn't want to make the movie. Really? And yeah, because we had done this huge production uh, in Chronicles of Riddick. Right. And for some reason, it was slow to get to profit. It took them a year to get to profit. Right. And so they weren't so gung-ho. Are you saying to me that studios only really care about money? Because I'm shocked, man. <laughs> it's just like, I can hardly believe what I'm hearing. It's kind of true. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, it can't be all the time. CBS obviously don't care that much about money. I'm still on the air right there. <laughs> so, um, so you produce, like, the Fast and Furious as well. Like, but every time I see a Fast and Furious, it's like one last job. And then I'm like, ah, it's beginning to sound a little hollow. Because, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, there's another one coming. Guys. There's another one coming. Are you going to start another one, Seven? Yeah. The, the last start... one was the last job. How are you going to make yeah. another one? Did you ever get pulled over for the cop? Did the cops ever pull you over just because of Fast and the Furious? They would. Yeah, yeah? Yeah, but I have two baby seats in the back. Back. Oh, yeah, you're kind of all, all of that now. Yeah, 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 that's right. <laughs> Do you know what I like to do now? Drive a minivan just below the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> drives people crazy. Yeah, I mean, in a way that you can't imagine. Yeah, they lose. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, mm hmm. Uh, we'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> you still live in New York? I live in New York and LA. Oh, right. Uh, how, how'd you do that then? You a teleporter or something? <laughs> I teleport from New York and LA. Right, so. Do you have like uh, like the same clothes in every house? Like the same like Elvis used to have in his houses. Everything was exactly the same in each house. Do you have that? Because if you don't, you're a loser. Think about that. I'm a loser. Yeah. I'm a loser. No, I I I'm not really big on fashion. I just kind of wear whatever's around. Well, come on, now you've got a nice shirt on and stuff. Oh, they just gave it to me before I went. Really? Is that the Is real that shirt I had said Barca, BC. Right, you probably can't wear that. I probably could. Yeah, but they're not going to stop you. They're not going to. I don't think they're going to stop me. No, no, they're not going to stop. Gonna... Did you do a Scottish accent there hey, a little bit? A little almost. bit. A little bit. I held it back. Yeah, no, it's good. I held it back. Yeah. I was halfway there and I went. Grrr. Yeah. It was good though. That's when the politeness kicks in. That's when you know someone is genuinely polite. They're going to do your accent and then just don't do it. Ah, uh, yeah. And Are you very, listen, can there's I other forms of being polite. Yeah, there is. Like what? <laughs> Helping people with their groceries? Oh, flower of skull. Don't, don't, sing, don't sing, oh, flower of skull. <laughs> when will we see your light? That's kind of... Uh, no, that's a good song, uh, yeah. but uh, if we sing it, it's, it's, it's long. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You've been to Scotland? I have been to Scotland. Did you have a nice time? I had a great time. My mom always wanted to go to Scotland. So what did you do when you were? Did you play golf? Uh, when I, the last time I went to Scotland was um, 10 years ago. Yeah. I, I, I went for uh, an MTV Awards. They had them in Scotland? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody told me. 
<laughs> they had them in Scotland. They had really? them in Scotland in 2003. Really? And my whole fan, we were shooting uh, Fast and Furious in London last year. What was that? Three, four, eighteen? What one was that? <laughs> 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 But I gotta tell you something, Craig. If I didn't make Fast Seven, yeah, oh, it people would be, would be, it would be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, no, people love those movies. I saw, and they're I, fun and exciting. Now you should make them. Yeah, yeah, it's good. And also, you got two baby seats in the back of the I car. I got you know two. What I'm yeah. But I went. Uh, so my kids went to Scotland, right, to see their oldest relative. Oh. At so the you, Rosslyn Chapel. You have Scottish. He's buried right there. Really? Who? Who is it? Sinclair. Really? You're, you're one of the Sinclairs? I'm a Sinclair. Because if I'd have known you were a Sinclair, you would not be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. We have to take a break. I didn't know he was a Sinclair. We have to rearrange some things. Uh, we'll be right back with Vin Diesel. Sinclair. about the Hannibal movie he's going to get made. You know that you know this story. Tell them the story about Hannibal. A little Do you bit. guys know anything they about They don't Hannibal? know anything about anything. <laughs> they don't even know where Save the Robots is. Jim. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Hannibal. Hannibal the Conqueror. The Carthaginian general, 3rd century BC. Does anybody know about this 3rd no, century? About it. No. All right. All right, some people are pretending they know. Anyway, okay. you're going to make a you're going to make a movie about this guy. So that's been that's been the longest kind of dream that I've had of... of, of now why, well you, presumably you play Hannibal in the movie. Like you're a big movie star, people will go and see you at the box office, so how come there's a problem raising the money for this movie? Well, when we first um, got the, we got the first script written by David Franzoni, who wrote Gladiator. Okay. And the budget came in at 250 million dollars. That's pretty expensive, fellas. It's a little, you want to yeah. cut out, you know, you take some elephants out. You've got to take yeah, some yeah, elephants yeah. out. And so... Over the last 10 years, it's just been a struggle. But every Fast and Furious gets me closer ah, to, to the dream. Ah, that's what it is. I see. Good for you, man. Fast and Furious, get it done. I will, I will, you know, it's... it's if you make Hannibal, can yeah. I be in it? If you want I to. I want to be, cause I'll just be like a guy going, ah, under an elephant or something. Just, that's it. That's all I need. I'm not, I don't need the elephant fancy, just, ah, like that. Or I would love to have I'd you. love to do it, man. You could play a goal. I would play a goal. Wait a minute, they're French. No, they're not. They weren't sort French of. back then. They yeah, were kind sort of Celtic. Be, well, I don't know. It's Celtic. Like, this I don't know. Friend. These elephants <laughs> don't impress me so very much. No, man. Nah. <laughs> you can't say that. You remember Bruce yeah, and Gatterex. Yeah, they were Celts. Okay. Yeah. Bruce and Gatterex is a, is a true goal. Yeah, all right. I'll do it. Thanks. <laughs> I'm out of here. Hey, uh, one more thing. Yeah. Like, so you know how you shave your own head, right? Yeah. All right, so have you ever, like, just, like, shaved the whole thing? <laughs> oh my god, it does. Oh, what? Wow. Well, you, oh, <laughs> you just did it? You did oh it tonight? Is that, yeah, like shave your entire body? <laughs> this is guy, this, guys, help here. A no! <laughs> they, they asked me to ask you. What? Yeah! <laughs> Ask him. Before you come out, they're like, ask Someone him if he shaves his whole body. Help me. Ask him, does he go completely or is it a little airstrip? What does he no! do? Yeah, they asked. I, oh my God, I feel, wow. No, you don't have to answer. All right, we're out of time, sadly, so we'll have to save that for next time. So, uh, I think that's a yes, though. Um, <laughs> how do you want to finish up? You want to do an awkward pause together? You want to do a fake argument? You want to twerk with the horse? Anything you want, man. <laughs> Hey, 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 it's his choice now. Um, <clears throat> well, how would we do, how would we do the awkward stare? How would that play? The awkward, awkward pause? Yeah. We'll uh, just, just roll right into it, man. And we, what do we do? Just kind of... I'm doing it, I'm doing it now. And just kind of go, kind of introvert, introspect, kind of... How you do it is how you do it, you know? <laughs> Would I just get up and start walking? No, around? no, man, no, man. You stay, stay until, stay until the commercials. Wait a minute, you started it already, and I didn't even know. Oh my God! Vin Diesel, everybody. Well, 
Welcome back, everybody. My next guest you know from uh, Game of Thrones. He plays Jon Snow, and he stars in How to Train Your Dragon 2, which is an excellent film, which is in theatres on June the 13th. All the actors who do the voices in that film are really good! Uh, <laughs> take a look at this. <laughs> Kit Harrington, everybody! Kit Harrington! Hi, Kit. Hi. That's creepy, man. It is a bit creepy, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Amanda brought it for you for some reason. Did you know there was a doll of you from Game of Thrones? It's actually life size. That's the way. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's nice. It look, have you still got that little dress? Um, yeah, yeah. I keep it at home for special occasions and things. But yeah, this is, um, this is weird that you have this on your desk. No, don't worry about it. I'll put it over <laughs> here so that it's just behind me looking at you. <laughs> Congratulations on the How to Train Your Dragon movie. I hear it's very good. Yeah. I think every actor who does a voice in it is, is very... T they all deserve Academy Awards this year, I think. I think so. It's only well, fair, right? Yeah. The thing is, we've never met and we're in this movie together. Is that weird? You never meet anyone when you do an animated movie. I know, movie. I know. I think that's why I get to be in them. <laughs> <laughs> you do it all on your own. You have to do lots of pretending. Did you do your stuff in London? I did it mostly at, all over the place. They find you wherever you are. That's right. the great thing. They yeah. say, right, we've got a studio. Come do a bit here, a bit there. And it's great. It's so, it's so much fun because you don't, when you do normal filming, you've always got someone come from fiddling with your face. Yeah, I know. You have to dress up, put your little Jeez. thing on and everything. Yeah. You, can, you don't even have to wear pants when you do an animated movie. <laughs> I, I, I actually like not to, you know? Yeah, I know. I saw your little doll there. Uh. <laughs> hey, um... What about uh, you, London? Is that where you live? Yeah, North London. I used to live in North London. I used to live in Islington in North London. That's exactly where I live. I live no in... way! Yeah. Do you go to the Slug and Lettuce? Yes, many, many times I've been to the... Where is it? <laughs> right on uh, the, uh, the Green there, on uh, the Islington... Is, what is it? The Green? Yeah, you know, yeah. Stoke, Newington, and then the, the street goes down like that, and then there's the... Uh, yeah, stay with me. And then... Uh, <laughs> it's on the edge of Upper Street, on the Green, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How long have you lived there? <laughs> Four or five years. Yeah, you see, it'll probably be all different bars. I was there 20 years ago. I live in Archway. Do you know Archway? Oh, yeah, the posh bit. The posh bit? I just made it up. I don't know. <laughs> Are you from there? Did you grow up there? I grew up in Acton in West London. Right. And then I moved to a place called Worcester, famous for the sauce. Famous for the sauce? Yeah. Do you enjoy a bit of sauce? I love a bit of sauce. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got yeah. weird there for a minute, didn't it? A little bit. Yeah. So there you are. Are you going to the big dragon movie premiere this week? Yeah. It's at the weekend. I am. Yeah. I'm going to be there. I can't wait. I yeah, I, I haven't been invited. Have you not? <laughs> Seriously? No, of course I've been invited. <laughs> I was in the first one. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll be doing it. I'll be like, oh, ha, ha, cheeky. Oh, I am. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't wait. It's yeah. Be yeah, I'll be fine. It's, they've, they've got like a dragon. It's a bit like your horse, actually. Yeah. <laughs> they have a dragon puppet that will be there as well. Have you ever done pantomime theatre in Britain as an actor? Because that's where that kind of horse thing comes from. No, I'm, I'm, I'm quite close to it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Are you... It won't be long. No, so. no, 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 you're absolutely wrong. You'll be doing the Game of Thrones until your character gets killed, because they yeah. all get killed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, there's uh, dragon movies. They're going to run forever. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Are you, do you spend a lot of time over here now in Los Angeles? I come over here more and more, yeah. Right. Have you got a little place here then? No. no oh, no. no. You I... want to get a little place down by the beach? Yeah. I yes. Go do some surfing. I stay in, in hotels when I'm, when I'm... Oh, you mustn't do that. That's where, you know, loneliness creeps in. Bad things happen. <laughs> yeah. Start thinking, oh, it's late. I'll just... <laughs> and then that, I'll just... And then I'll just go down to the bar. I'll just see what's going on outside there. I'll just go to Tijuana for a couple of days. <laughs> Pretty much what's happened over the last few days. Really? Yeah. Are you having a bit of a wild time? Yeah. It's been That's all right. It's good. Get it out of your system, son. That's what to do. <laughs> yes, enjoy yourself while you're young. Yeah, and Randy. Yeah. And, and what? Randy and Randy, Randy, of course, yes! I'm Randy. Me too. Yeah. 
I thought it would have waned by this age, but it hasn't, hasn't ebbed at all. I, I was rather looking forward to it, but it just stays around. Yeah, it just keeps going, man. Yeah, it keeps going. That portion of sausage just keeps Yeah, going. now stop it. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Are you, uh, do you want this, or can I keep it and undress it? Um, <laughs> no, I'll, I'll give it back to you. Apparently, you have to give it to Amanda's friend. Okay. And also, you have to give her this, um... <laughs> anyway, there you are. Um, <laughs> do you fancy an awkward pause or a mouth organ? Please take the awkward pause. <laughs> or, or if you can play the mouth organ, we'll play. I can, I can, pl I can play the mouth organ. Can you? Because if you can play, you could win the golden mouth organ. Well, this is what they told me backstage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I want to give it a shot. Well, if you can play, I mean, many people have won it, but not for a long time. Well, that's the one I blew. You don't want to do that. Here's a fresh one. Okay. If you can actually play, you win it. But I'm very strict about this. You're doing that actor thing of pretending. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you notice that? No, no, I'm afraid that, well, I want to give it to you, but I can't. Can I have this one? Yes, you okay. can have that one. Yeah, you can have that one. And uh, you can have this. And, uh, Thank you. You better take these. Uh, right. Cheers. Uh, you might need some of this. Thanks. And uh, were you expecting a call? Yeah, yeah, actually, it's my, it's, it's my agent. Your agent? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hey, it's, uh, it's uh, my agent. I'm the agent. It's the wrong number. <laughs> Get Harrington, everybody, move around. to the big Morgan Freeman birthday spectacular, where tonight my first guest is a superstar athlete, one of the most famous athletes in the world. He's Major League Soccer uh, at the Los Angeles Galaxy. Take a look at this. David Beckham, everybody! You're so nice and well drunk. Look at you. You're gorgeous with your thing. And... <laughs> Thank you're, you very you're, much. You are a bit of a dandy. It's, it's very impressive. It's well, good. I'm English. This is how we dress. Well, I've been to England this and not all of you dress like that. <laughs> Some of these men were wearing tank tops in the club I was in. Well, <laughs> well this is how my mom told me to dress. Well, it's, you look very nice. I like it. You're very put together and you smell very nice as Thank well you. for an athlete. Thank you. Is that your own fragrance, Jim? Yes, it is. Is it really? Fragrance, yes. And I have a new one coming out very soon. Hence your appearance on this <laughs> show, <laughs> I would imagine. No, nothing to do with that. Really? What's nothing. your fragrance called then? Instinct. Oh, can I have a sniff? Yes. Right. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice, right? <laughs> You're okay with that, aren't you? You're okay with being smelling Sniff, nice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like being. Sniff. Do you like men coming up and sniffing you? Love it. <laughs> Love it. You're in the right game then, really, <laughs> aren't you? Were you watching? Were you watching the Barcelona Manchester United? Then? Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. That. That. Well, there you go. Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, I'm a huge Manchester United fan, but. Oh, you played uh, there long enough. Didn't I played you? there for almost 12 years, so, um, you know, my heart's still there. It was the club that I always wanted to play for, but yeah. uh, you know, they came up against such a great team with Barcelona. So yeah. Was, well, uh, them Spanish can play a bit of football. Yeah. They can. Yeah, they yeah. can. They've got some great players. Yeah. So. Yeah. You were at Real Madrid as well, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I was there for four years. So. Do you enjoy paella? I love it. Yeah, it's nice, isn't I it? Love. I like paella. I, yeah. loved, I loved everything about Spain. I'm Yo, not Spain's a great place. I like Spain, yeah. Paella was nice. And then, uh, what's the name of that wine they drank? Wine. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, I had a nice time. Did you ever go to a bullfight? Um, no. No, you're right. Neither because was I. I wasn't sure I agreed with everything. No, I, I don't. I, no, I don't like to see that. <laughs> I went to one once, so I went to, Bar uh, not Barcelona, uh, Pamplona. Mm -hmm. I went up there and ran with the Bulls. Did you ever do that? No. Because no, I'm, not I'm not actually that quick, so I'd oh, worry stop about it. Oh, stop it! You know I'm you're not, not that... I'm, trust me, I'm not. Well, the thing is, as well, you don't want to get your legs near a, a bull running. Not really. No, not that's... Not really. I'm not sure the managers would be... No, that, they wouldn't like that at all. <laughs> when you were at Manchester United, mm -hmm. Alex Ferguson was there. Yes. And uh, my name's Ferguson, 
but I'm not related to him. Oh, really? So you, you and I can alike. be friends. You do look alike. Yeah, we do. We're related through being Scottish and hating things. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly the we English. Well, no, I no, I'm joking. No, no, I don't. I, I, I don't hate the English. I think Alex Ferguson hates. No, he no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he hates the Spanish right now, but uh, <laughs> or some of them. No, he's such a great manager. You know, best manager in soccer, to be honest. And uh, he's pretty you know, good. His yeah. record over the years is incredible and untouchable. Did you ever see footage of him when he was a player? He used to play, I think, for Aberdeen in Scotland and, and uh, Rangers. He always said he was a great goal scorer, but yeah, uh, yeah, I'm not so sure. Yeah, he's, he said <laughs> he was scoring goals before they were goals were being filmed yeah. so you have to take his word for it that's true the that's uh, very true. oh well look i can see your tattoo there yes nice. i know you've got a few oh i've you. got a couple yeah but you've got you've got the sleeve haven't you you got the full I've sleeve i've got two full sleeves yeah really which my mum's not too happy about but <laughs> Come on, you're David Beckham. We don't have to ask your mum for a tattoo now. Yeah, okay. well, she's still, every time I have a tattoo, she's like, oh, my God, not another one. Really? I'm going to get some more from it, but have you ever got anything down that low? Yeah, uh, that's as low as I've Yeah, got. see, that's as low as you want to go. Yeah. Don't go further than that. Don't go this far down. It's bad. I saw the great spirit. <laughs> You know that it's going to hurt <laughs> when the rest of the guys in the tattoo parlor... Well, that's really low. Yeah, it's really low. That's what I'm saying. You do smell nice, David, I have to tell you. <laughs> it's, it's, very, <laughs> it's very low. I, what did you get your tattoos for? What, 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 what did they uh, um, signify? Every one that I've got on me uh, means something. How many have you got? Everything has a meaning. I've got, like, almost 30, I think. 30, really? 31, yeah. That's a bit too much. I know. <laughs> I know. Have you got any on your business? Um, not yet. I, I was thinking of getting a tattoo on mine. Really? Yeah, let's go together. Okay. Sounds great. Let's go together. I, you to. wear your cologne, I'll wear my <laughs> cologne, and we'll, well, I don't have a cologne yet, what but I'm going to get them. We have to think of ideas, though. Well, well I'm going to get tattooed on mine. Yeah. I? Well, what are you getting tattooed on yours? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I thought uh, what I would get tattooed on mine was, uh, Hi, my name is Craig. Very nice to meet you. Have a nice day. Perfect. I'll think of mine. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, or I'll just get, you know, CF. <laughs> yeah, you Depending should on, get that. Yeah, no. I don't know. I think it would hurt a bit too much. Uh, yeah. You really yeah, have yeah, thought maybe, about it. Maybe. You really have thought about it. I kind of was thinking about really, it. Really? Yeah. Really? yeah. No, nah, I don't think I could do it. Maybe on my bum, but not on my, uh, not on my junk. Well, you never no. know. You never know. What do you mean you never? Well, I, whoever put the tattoo on me, I don't want. His name's Doug. I don't want Doug <laughs> messing around my junk with a a, a, a painful pen. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure I'd want mine messing yeah. around mine either. No, you don't. You don't want to do it. Plus, you know, if he one slip, he could throw you out for a couple of games. <laughs> yeah. Did you have? <laughs> I I do like them though. I you you have to have an odd number. Do you know that, or it's bad luck? I know. I heard that today. Yeah, I just made it up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I've never heard it up until this morning. It, it was told to me by a tattoo artist when he knew I had an even number of tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Would you let your kids get tattoos? You've got boys. Would you let them get it done? Um, at a certain age, I think, if they wanted to. But what age uh, is your oldest? He's. My oldest is 12. We've got an eight year old, six year old, and a little girl on the way in six weeks. So. Yeah. Yeah, nice. 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 You're in trouble now. Nice. And I, I'm not yeah. sure I'd let her get tattooed, but the boys, I, I can't really argue with them. If they no, no, you can't. No, you can't do that. It's not no, something you... I can. Well, it's okay. It's a different thing now. Back in the day, it was just, you know, sailors and mm. rock musicians, but now everyone's got them. Yeah, yeah. you know, I, I love them personally, but I'm not sure they're going to look great at when I'm 75. Well, <laughs> I've heard that before, but chances are you won't look so great when you're 75 That's either. That's true. So... I'll smell good, though. Yeah, you will smell okay. awesome. I'm yeah. going to smell great. You will. That's the thing you've got to work out as you get older, because as you get older, apparently, you start smelling like vitamins and wee-wee. <laughs> Really? Which is coincidentally the name of my cologne. Uh, it's going to be vitamins and weaving. Now, do you enjoy uh, living in the United States? Are you having a nice time? I love it. You know, we've lived here for five years now. Yeah, it's, it's a been one, incredible. Everyone's welcomed us in so well. You know, not just obviously around, you know, the soccer side of things. But, right. You know, around us living here. So, you know, the boys love going to school here. My, my wife loves working here. So, yeah. what's not to love about living in LA? Well, there's a lot of... Ay, caramba! Dear, dear.
one, I don't know if one you, or two. Yeah, one I two. mean, to be fair, the, you know, per square foot, there's more douchebags here than anywhere else, really, <laughs> on planet Earth. I I've, mean, I've met one or two. Maybe. Yeah, one or two. But I, do you know what, who I did meet who's amazing? I met the president the other day, which... No I, way! I really wanted... He was to. here? Um, no, in London. Oh. In London. Oh, I was invited to a dinner with the Queen and the President and the First Lady. And What's that coming to go? <laughs> <laughs> the Queen and the President? And yeah. And, and, you know, that's and the, fantastic. The Look soccer again. player sat with the Queen and the President. That's it's great. Incredible. I think that's so, very nice. A man that I really wanted to meet. Did the Queen uh, smoke her pipe when you were there? <laughs> No, but funnily enough, she knew that I was having a baby in six weeks. Oh, my wife's having a baby. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> well, she's the queen. She knows everything. She has her all-seeing eye. It, sho it shocked Ooh. me that she knew. So. No, but she probably ran. Well, I love the, the queen. The queen's, you know, to us English, it's, and to everyone, I think, in the world, especially. Yeah, right. Especially over here, I think people well, love. Well, they do like it here. Yeah, love no, they do the queen that. and the royal family. I wasn't such a big fan of the royal family. And then I watched uh, uh, Prince William get married to Kiki. I know Kiki. what you're going to say. No, no, no. I Okay. What? what, Kiki Wiggles was? No, go, no, right. go, go, no, no, no. I'm no, I watched say. it and I thought, they were quite nice. Amazing, they're amazing Yeah, no, people. I thought, I thought... Amazing. Uh, it made me think, oh, good luck, young people, I thought. Yeah. They, they melted my cold Scottish heart, they you know, did. You know why it was so amazing? Because, you know, Prince William and Prince Harry, we've seen them grow up, you know, into real men. Sure. Um, and they've gone through so much in such a short space of time, yeah. in such, you know, their, yet their young lives. And to see... You know, Prince William get married and Prince Harry still cracking jokes. Did you uh, was, did you uh, cry at the wedding when you were there? It was emotional. I didn't cry because I'm did. emotional. You cried but a I bit. do cry at yeah. things. Do you really? Yeah. I'm an emotional man. <laughs> at times. At times. <laughs> Thank you. At, at times. At that times. was from lesbian wrong. That, that is the power. <laughs> Thank you. Man. No, I don't have you melted my cold Scottish heart that you melted the cold hearts of the grumpy lesbians of lesbian world? <laughs> David, we're out of time. Would you like a, an awkward pause of mouth organ or touch my glittery ball? I'd love to touch your ball. Touch my ball. All right. Um, let's do it awkwardly. Okay. Awkwardly, okay. David, awkwardly. Okay. Don't go rushing in there. It's not a soccer ball. It's a glittery ball. Okay, okay. It doesn't need to be put in the net just right. yet. Take your time. Am I allowed to touch it now? Yeah, you can touch it now. You sure? One hand or two? <laughs> <laughs>